Today marks a momentous occasion. In a few moments, I, along with Comet and Cam, will be ranking every Grimlock design for 2024. Throw the switch, Grimlock! Me Grimlock ready, but forgot which button. I went through it with him five times. Uh, now Grimlock remember. <laughs> I can't believe it! Grimlock! <laughs> Silly Grimlock. Put wrong one by mistake. Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Common and Cam, and today we're going to be updating every Grimlock design from worst to best. Me Grimlock love challenge! Dinobots transform! And who better to join me than one of the biggest Grimlock fans I know, Road Russell. Welcome friends. It is your time to shine. <laughs> I am Road Russell. Last time I was here, I was Mark Scaper, but now I've changed. You've transformed. Yes. <laughs> You're literally Counterpunch. <laughs> yeah. We should be ranking every Counterpunch design. <laughs> <laughs> so, what makes Grimlock one of your favorite characters? Yeah, I love Grimlock. He's a powerhouse, he's got a cool design. And I also think he has a really interesting story and pathos that makes me identify with him. Despite consistently being a T-Rex, he has had a wide range of unique designs that's going to make this really interesting to look at. There's a lot to go from like the original design and then see how it evolves over time, how different artists change it for their own purposes, and how they- Me Grimlock want to hear good part of story! Good part, Cup! Tell Swoop good part! Okay, okay. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the tier names. And first up, of course, we had to use his most iconic line. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so happy to see those big bozos. Me Grimlock, no bozo, me king. And now for the second highest tier, we'll have a quote from Transformers Animated. And now for the middle tier, where we kind of like it, but then we don't at the same time. You will swear your allegiance to me. You will do my bidding. Let me turn. I will set you free. No, thanks. Uh, I'll free myself. Wait, I can help you. And now for the second lowest tier, we'll have a quote from Robots in Disguise 2015. Well, looks like this arena's getting torn down anyway. We'd actually be doing the crew a favor. B will be so impressed I thought this through! Let's smash! And now finally, for the worst tier, it of course had to be... No! It is impossible! I saw you perish beneath the tar pits! <laughs> you wrong, and you ugly too. Retreat Decepticons! First up is of course Generation 1, and we'll talk about the original box art and the toy. And I gotta say, I understand why kids went nuts for the Dinobots. I love the detail on the box art, and the toy seems really fun to play with. I always love it because it's super retro, super vintage. They don't go overboard in terms of them being like robotic designs, but they can still make them feel badass. He looks super cool. You get to know everything about him in this one image. Ah, as I expected. Now moving over to the cartoon, they do get rid of some of that pattern detail just to simplify it for the animation. But I think the biggest debate is the head design. We have the first cartoon one, but they altered it to make it look more like the toy. And honestly, I don't know which one I prefer. I think both look really great. Uh, me Grimlock stronger? Me Grimlock must lead. I think I prefer the, the one that we end up getting. It feels like it fits with the rest of the design a bit more. You just look at this character and it's designed in such a unique and interesting way going from the toy to this you get a real sense that he's strong and powerful it's obviously iconic 
And I think the same goes for the Marvel Comics version. I really like the blue highlights on his head and his legs. It makes him pop out a bit more. So the Marvel Comics Grimlock is a different character compared to the cartoon one because he's more aggressive and he's more uh, dominating as far as like I am the leader and I think the red eyes really make that pop out that he's a force to be reckoned with. I mean, not to be controversial, but I think the T-Rex design looks better with the apron. I mean, look <laughs> at that bow tie. And then decades later, this design was captured so brilliantly with the Masterpiece toy released in 2009. And then recently it was upscaled and it could transform on its own with the Robosen Grimlock. Yeah, and it, it speaks to the uh, designers of the original toy, Koji Ono and Shoji Kawamari. This is really genius in the way that the big T-Rex legs become the big arms. It just cements that fact that this is truly an iconic design. My biggest regret is selling the Masterpiece toy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different time in my life when I needed money. You try and buy that thing again and good luck because it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, you might as well get a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> and on the Masterpiece, you can switch between the cartoon eyes and the comics eyes. So I gotta say, which eye color do you prefer, red or blue? I think I lean more towards red because I think there's also more red in his body as well. So it kind of is more uniform in that sense. I mean, it really depends what day it is, honestly. <laughs> yeah, true. This G1 design has had some obscure miniature figures. Uh, we've got the Funko Pops. They are the least Funko Poppy looking Funko Pops. They don't have like those beady eyes. And then there's like the Mighty Mugs one I'm seeing here. You ever see that episode of SpongeBob where he becomes like quote unquote normal and he's super round? Yes. That's what <laughs> this looks like yeah. to me. How do we feel about the second one? Cause I feel like that should go next to Funko Pop. Cause that is clearly the better Mighty Mug. Me Grimlock smart. Inspire dumb dinosaurs fight too. Yeah, I think it's probably in the same vein. So yeah, probably no thanks. I'll free myself. Yeah, he technically freed himself as well from that curse. <laughs> what didn't free itself from the curse is the Pretenders Grimlock. I just, I'm not feeling it. It's kind of alright, but uh. I actually like the robot. Like that actually kind of looks kind of cool. I like that color palette. You know, human shell is pretty garbage i mean even in like i remember when it happens in the marvel comic right in the original comics he has the pretender shell and then kind of discards it pretty quickly <laughs> i can't fault him i would have as well now what did you do make mistake i mean to be fair it's 10 times better than the 3d battle cards grimlock <laughs> i'm just i'm trying to like what is that robot design like i am like, his tail is inside his head. <laughs> I don't know what type of abomination this thing is. Put it out of its misery. Get away from me! <laughs> now let's move on to Generation 2, which got cancelled, but it would eventually get released in the Transformers Legacy Evolution line. I think the yellow is a bit too loud. I kind of like the blue, but eh, I don't know. It, like, it depends on the style of the design that you put it in. Yeah. I think if it was, you saw this in like the comic where everything's like super loud and bombastic, it would work really well. I don't know, I, I don't hate it. Until next time, me Grimlock no feel like it. Now let's talk about the Beast Wars Grimlock. And his toy is literally Dinobot. You know, I was always surprised that they never named Dinobot Grimlock. I'm still happy with what we ended up with, but I don't like this color scheme for Grimlock at all. I think it's not even so much that it's called Grimlock. I think it's, as a design, there are things that are really conflicting to me with like the way the neck, like collar thing. I don't know, it's, it's not working for me. You know, he, he's not quite too ugly, but he can smash it. Put it out of misery. We do as told for now. Now we did get an update of this in the Warfus Outron Kingdom line, and I think the same goes. I mean there is differences like the other one was more like had spots on it. This one is more like the top is just yeah. straight a color. So it's not quite the same. I think this is a better attempt, but I would still smash it. The brown doesn't really mesh with the white and the darker gray. It looks like poo. <laughs> looks like he shat yeah. his pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
This version of Grimlock did get his G1 colors in the Dinobots line, and it still doesn't save it. That design does not fit the spirit of the character. He's He gets smashed, but I feel bad about it. <laughs> Good, you should. <laughs> uh, no, me Grimlock getting mad! Well, at least we got to see the real Grimlock in the 2021 Beast Wars comic. Man, he looks really cool. I really like this. Yeah, I think he just freed himself. I think I'm sold on this for this comic, and I think Josh Bertram's art is always... I, I really like the way he draws uh, Transformers. Yeah, I mean, his artwork is just amazing. Me Grimlock! Better. All right, last one is the Beast Wars Uprising Maximal Grimlock, and... Uh, yeah, I don't like it. I, I think this is actually probably... Wait, we should smash this, and I don't feel bad about it this time. <laughs> so... Stop squirming! Now let's talk about the Robots in Disguise 2001 Grimlock. A massive deviation from what we're used to. This is just a way of saving the trademark name, but I gotta say, I really do like the character and the design. Like, if we're just talking about a design... It's really not that bad. I like it. To me, I grade this differently in the sense it's not even going for anything resembling the original Grimlock. So if I look at this design and if I just look at it as a robot design, I think it's a neat robot design. I actually do like it as like, it's like a cooler scavenger, right? I like it in a different way. I think it's me Grimlock-like. Yeah, I agree. I think he's flipped a switch. Now we have Transformers Energon Grimlock, he didn't appear in the show sadly, but he did get a toy. I don't like the toy, but the actual art itself, like the design, it looks really good. It's a shame it didn't translate well to the toy. It looks like one of the worst Energon toys, like it looks like a Scout class thing that they put together very quickly. But the actual robot artwork there, I think, I, I actually really like it. I, I think it's a pretty neat design. Me Grimlock-like, do you think? Yeah, I think for the artwork, I would go me Grimlock-like. For once, we agree. Now moving on to Classics Grimlock, and I think the artwork and the toy work really well with each other. I'm just not a big fan of this reversed Grimlock. You know, it's like they put all the T-Rex parts at the bottom of a robot. Um, I think it's an interesting concept, but I'm just not on board with this. But I do kind of like the chest. The chest is actually pretty cool. I have nostalgia for it because it's, I think, the first Grimlock that I ever saw. It's a neat, like, reinvention of it. I, I actually like it. It's, uh, you know, it's a neat design. It's, it was too small of a toy. Like, like it was like, like five inches tall. I mean, not, not even five inches, like two inches tall. So, like, you know. I take it you like this, then. Yeah, probably the last in, like, you know. All right, not a great reinvention, however, is the Alternator slash Tech Grimlock. You know, uh, Grimlock's not a car. <laughs> mm, car and trucks, bag! Car robots, worse! They tried their best. I mean, what are you gonna I do? I don't think they did. <laughs> they, what are you gonna do if you... If it's like, hey... Let's take the iconic T-Rex Transformer and make him into a car. How about that, Hasbro? Me Grimlock not talking to him. Him traitor. I mean, this is... This is... Uh, you, you wrong and ugly, too. Definitely ugly. Definitely not ugly is the Transformers Animated Grimlock. This was technically my first Grimlock toy I owned, and I owned two of them for some reason. But I really love this. I love his character. I think David Cade does a great performance. Like, that design is just so badass. I love the flaming sword. I... Oh, this is going to be a little bit controversial on my end, then. <laughs> um, th that's a cool design, except for the face. I don't like his mouth thing. I wish it was just a, like a mouth plate. But I think this is a cool design. But to like as a character, he almost did next to nothing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god! Like he was so underutilized. So like, it's not even like one of my favorites. I don't even know if I would put it in a top ten. So that's where I stand with him. He barely does anything after he gets created. And I know he was supposed to in Megatron Rising, but 
Yeah, outside, the, I like the origin story, but in terms of his character afterwards, yeah, you're right, he absolutely didn't. I understand the mouth choice, that was just an animation gimmick, I think, just to make him, you know, a bit more expressive, I guess. Because I guess it is hard for Grimlock designs, for the most part, to show a lot of expression. I will say his various repaints are definitely ugly. We've got the gold and fire version, and I just don't care for them. I don't like that this version was just, like, a brute and nothing more. Okay, but me Grimlock's still taller than you. That why spider lady like me Grimlock best. Well, I think because of that, we'll put him in his own quote then. Yeah. Now moving on to the Creos. I only like the G1, and that's about it. So I, I think this uh, freed itself, at least for the most part, but that second one, I would be willing to smash it. Me Grimlock destroy him when me Grimlock say time is right. Now let's move on to comics. We have the War Within. And you know, I like the Cybertronian mode of Grimlock. I think he's really cool. I like the story of this character. And if you look into his face, you can see that he has these uh, things on the sides of his mouth plate that look a little bit like teeth on the sides. And I kind of like that. I, I, I like the design. I don't know if there's going to be a successful Cybertronian Grimlock anywhere. Uh, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, it's kind of like you're working backwards from that. I don't know if you can like make a very satisfying one. I think this is as good as you can make it. Yeah, I mean, we do like this one. Mighty Grimlock stomp bad guys, no problem. Now, if we talk about the Dreamwave one, it's basically just G1, but some areas are just slightly changed. I think it highly depends on who's drawing it. Yeah. If it's like Pat Lee or someone like that, it's like, ugh. Uh, if it's like Guido Guidi, it's like, oh, okay. I, I would say I would like it. Uh, I don't like the black bar in his chest, but I, like overall, I like it. Next up is the G.I. Joe comic crossover Grimlock, where he's a World War One tank. I really actually like this a lot. I like the treads on the shoulders, and that looks really cool. Yeah, I can see this as Grimlock. You know, I think it's a neat uh, incorporation of some of the stuff that you see from the dinosaur mode into this one. So yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Another favorite of mine is the mainline IDW Grimlock. I like the mouth, like you said, it's like it's got teeth in it as well. And I just love both T-Rex and robot mode. Earlier in the comics, they tried to go for a more organic look and that's what the toy here uh, is going for. Something a little bit more organic looking. Um, you know, and I like that, you know, I like that, but I definitely prefer the more to me CI, IDW, Lost Light, like take on him. Uh, but it looks, he looks so cool. I love this design. This is an S tier design. This is a me Grimlock King design. When you look at that Lost Light design itself, right? It is, it takes a lot of the original Grimlock, but it rounds it out a bit and you get, and I always got more of like a Conan the Barbarian vibe from him a big bodybuilder almost and I, I love it I love this design now the last IDW is a beast quite literally this is his beast mode in the comics the art style I mean I really dig this look how sharp he is though kind of looks like a hedgehog a little bit but not monster handsome like me Grimlock yeah I'm not I don't vibe with this one as much but I love his art style you know I love a brutal Grimlock to me, he's like the Wolverine of the Autobots. I love a Berserker Rage Grimlock, but I don't love this design as much as the uh, later design from Lost Light. He looks like he's freed himself. Yeah. Now moving on to video games, we'll talk about the High Moon design, and a lot of fans may be surprised to know that he didn't actually debut in Fall of Cybertron. It was in fact the War for Cybertron the Nintendo DS game, where we have a Cybertronian alt mode. <laughs> it just looks like a brick. Like, it's not a bad looking brick. He's got turrets as well on the side of him. You know, I kind of would have loved to have seen Grimlock looking like this in Fall of Cybertron before we got the T-Rex mode, but we can still imagine it because it's in the same world. Yeah, I like this. It's just like, you're just waiting for the T-Rex and I think that's why Fall of Cybertron was kind of smart to omit it uh, and to like jump to like him as a dino bot. I, I like the robot mode though. I, I think the robot mode looks cool. All right, now let's move on to Fall of Cybertron, where, yes, you're right, they just went straight into the T-Rex mode, Shockwave, learned about Earth, turned Grimlock into this, well, honestly, badass. 
99.7% of your redesign is dedicated to the total destruction of your enemy. Lucky you. I remember playing the game religiously and just always having that chest type on almost every character. And the shoulders. The shoulders as well I would use on almost every character. This is the best Grimlock, period. Like, so far, in terms of fiction and story, I think he hits the right bells and whistles. This is the Grimlock design that I think of when I think of Grimlock. He's voiced by Greg Berger, who's not doing the goofy Grimlock voice. Now he's doing, you know, something more akin to what I prefer, which is the more tragic and angry Grimlock, you know? You got the opportunity to give a more dramatic performance, which I'm sure he always wanted to do. I think this is peak Grimlock, period. Now, sit there like a good pet while I finish my work. No one controls Grimlock! Impossible. Now let's move on to Earth Wars, and I gotta say, I don't have a lot of hate towards this. I actually think this is actually pretty cool. It's not the best, but it's still good. Yeah, I, I think I don't have much to say about it, so yeah, yeah it's, it's alright. The same goes for the Forge to Fight one as well. I think it's a good modern revision of that design. Yeah. And the Devastation one is basically just the G1 design. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I, the cell shading makes it, makes it more interesting, and I think it's Good. I think it's a good Grimlock design. Kind of merges the two head designs a bit there, you can see, so. Now we have the Transformers Online Chinese game, and I usually give these designs a lot of praise, but I'm just not feeling it with this one. It's, it's just not as badass as the others. Yeah, this is a little too much gray, and I, I don't know. I think there are parts of it that I like. I like the mace. I don't love that the chest looks like a guy screaming. Uh, but I think it barely frees itself because it's not that bad. Yeah. Grimlock need new strategy. Now we have a game design that a lot of people may not know about. It's the Roger Grimlock, and I'm not even going to begin. I don't even know how to explain this game, but Grimlock's in it. It's basically the evergreen design. I just recognize what you're talking about because I think there were some some voices in that game like and his voice was not good but um we don't get it but we like it yeah i like it now we have the legends card game and the only thing to really note is the chest is very similar to the classics toy i would put it in the middle of the road like it's you know nothing about it's really standing out to me right now but yeah you know i, I mean it, it looks like grimlock you know so me not do what you say! Next is the disgusting Battle Masters Grimlock. Me Grimlock kick butt! Last video game is the Angry Birds Grimlock. He can, I, I'm just, just, uh, no, like, this is... I'm sorry, guys. I don't like how he's looking at me. Nature, good. <laughs> Stupid nature! Come back and fight like Dinobot! He's so smug. Well, I wanna smash him. It's not a T-Rex, it's just a bird, but with T-Rex proportions. Smash it for a smug look on its face. Me, Grimlock, no like you! Now let's move on to Shadow Glass, and I gotta say, I really like these colors. They're a good swap for Grimlock. The Trypticon colors, right? And they've applied them to Grimlock here. And I think it works really well. And, yeah. you know, those colors are good and they look good on Grimlock. Optimus Prime, can you forgive? Now let's talk about the Robots in Disguise 2015 Grimlock, which caused a massive headache in the fandom in terms of continuity. Like, is it the Grimlock from the games or is this just some random dude and it's some random dude who named himself Grimlock? No! Must be more stronger than me, Grimlock Think. I like the robot mode. The robot mode, I really dig. The T-Rex mode, I get it. It's still fun and it's entertaining. But the robot mode for me is where it truly shines. And 
I think the robot mode especially, if they had the G1 colours of Grimlock, it still could have worked. And I like the green because I don't think of this as the Flawless Avatron Grimlock. You know, it mirrors the 2001 Grimlock. I actually really like this. Um, so here's the thing, right? I view this Grimlock as, you know, in the same way that Silverbolt in Beast Wars isn't the original Silverbolt. The green and the black, I think, really mesh well with each other. I like the dino mode. It's a lot of fun. Is This is one of the few Grimlocks that I'm okay with him having just a face. I think it works. I did it! Okay. Now try to conjure something with power. Acid waste is aliens. Even better. <laughs> power, not flower. I wanted to briefly mention the early concept art. This gets confused a lot with fans. They think this is the early concept design of Grimlock where he would have become a Stegosaurus. This was actually for a completely different character. So they weren't even going to use Grimlock. They were going to use a completely different character. So a lot of people go, he should be a T-Rex, not a Stegosaurus. It's like just misinformation or misunderstanding. I think he's like right behind animated. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah! I'm on probation. Yes, I'm probation. Hey! Uh, that's a good thing, right? Now, this Grimlock has had some decent toys, but he's had some terrible ones where they slap the Age of Extinction colors on him. He just looks like dog shit. <laughs> he looks like he's covered in dog shit. Yeah. Useless. Now we have the Tiny Titans Grimlock, which I'm sure a lot of fans would have preferred to see this than what we got, but hey, I think both are still really good. But the actual tiny figure itself is... He looks, he looks naked. I thought he's wearing briefs or something. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> I said stop! I, I'm just gonna focus on the, like, cool box art. I always love these Tiny Titans things. I think they're a better version of the Rid art style. Okay, so let's ignore the toy and we'll put that design like, do you think? Should we put this in like? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's there. Now we have Rescue Bots Academy Grimlock, and I think this is supposed to be the original Grimlock. I think this is meant to be Rid Grimlock. Wait, what it is? No! No! As far as I understand, this is supposed to be like Rid Grimlock. In the same way Bumblebee is supposed to be like Rid Bumblebee. So oh, I would put him. I hate that. Hey, recruits, I'm Grimlock. Who's ready to smash some metal? <laughs> no, not cool. Not cool at all. Yeah, it's one of those things where I think they just changed the designs just to fit the, the evergreen aesthetic. Let's smash, honestly. Like, it's not. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but, you know. Sure. Sometimes running away is a good plan. We got the Power of a Primes Grimlock. Now, the cartoon version of it is basically just the Masterpiece toy in animation, but then you actually look at the Power of a Primes toy itself, Voyager class, it's supposed to be like a remake, I guess, of that original G1 toy, which I do like in, in sort of an homage. I just don't think it executes it well. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's whatever. Maybe smash it. The art style of that show felt cheap. You know, I mean, I think it's fine, you know? So I think it's like, yeah, it's freed itself. Me Grimlock go with you. But me Grimlock go with you alone. All right, now we have the Hero Mashers. It gives me Lord Farquaad vibes. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. It looks like he has like hair yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> it's, it's wrong and ugly. Destroy! All right, another disgusting one. Um, we'll talk about the mouse. So Grimlock's a T-Rex, but they thought, let's make him into a mouse. Me Grimlock fool? Well, you know, I mean, clearly it's me Grimlock Hink. I mean, in defense of Mouse Grimlock, <laughs> he does operate. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. It no, might not work it's, at all. it's not. I, I think it's a USB stick. I think that might be a USB stick at the end. I don't know. It's fucking gross. <laughs> yeah. The bouncing ball. <laughs> I want to like just jump on it over and over again. These slags say 
you full of beryllium baloney! Me, Grimlock, say you full of cesium salami! Beryllium baloney! I was eyeing that, like, bouncy ball one. I know, like, I've just been there this whole time. <laughs> like, what is that? What is that over there? It's like, we're, we're going to get to it eventually, and you're kind of afraid that we are going to be getting to it. Right now, let's move on to the live-action movies, and we'll talk about the early concept designs for Grimlock first. This was designed by Ken Christensen. This was his take on Grimlock. While I find it excessive, I do really dig this. You know, if they had to go a completely different option, the only thing I'm just against is the cannon on the T-Rex mode itself. I just don't think Grimlock needs it. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm pretty sure that's probably something Michael Bay would have wanted. <laughs> this, I love Ken Christensen's designs a lot of the time. I think the problem with this one is a problem that plagues so many of these designs, right? Of these Michael Bay designs that they're so segmented. It, it just becomes noise. When you put that on screen, I was just like, what, what am I looking at? Me Grimlock not overdue. And as I kept looking at it, I'm like, okay, I'm starting to see what it's going for. They definitely turned it down when it came to the actual movie itself, the finalized design. Everything's different. You mean better. Just different. Very different compared to the toys, but that final CGI model that we got, perhaps the best we were gonna get. In terms of a CGI model design, you know, with the T-Rex being part of his shoulders, I do kind of like that. I guess the only thing I've always been conflicted about is the face, the head. Um, I don't know if I'm really on board with it. It just, his face in the movie, that one scene where he's roaring in robot mode, he looks like a chicken. Like, I don't mind the separated eyes, but if he had a mouth plate at least, I think it would have been fine. I think A, it lacks color, and B, I think, yes, the head on the shoulders is really cool, I think the mace is cool, but the rest of it is just kind of noisy, right? It's kind of like the movie one Megatron look, right? Maybe all he wants to hear you say is that something should never be invented. Okay. I think this is fine, because I do like aspects about it when certain like art styles are applied to it. I think the studio series figure is really good as well. It really just capture that CGI model. I mean, I tend to think the toys are better than the CGI models. So yeah, I think I put it in the middle. I think I put it, it's, it freed itself. We're giving you freedom. Now when we look at the toys, the only one to really talk about is the leader class because of that, you know, you can tell Hasbro wanted to go in a different direction or maybe they didn't have time to change with colors that are a little bit more faithful to the original. It, just, it does make him look kind of like a chicken. <laughs> yeah, the rest of them as well look terrible, the constructor bots and the Creos, but none of them look good. Not really feeling it with the Nemesis Grimlock. It looks like he's a really big fan of Colgate toothpaste. You know, his teeth are so <laughs> blue. We got a lot of ugly Grimlocks. <laughs> Me Grimlock want to munch better! The last night Grimlock as well, like, what is that? And the tiny turbo one. 2014. Halloween might have been interesting for some people. <laughs> Uh, because he got made into a costume. And I gotta admit, this is terrifying. I'm actually quite scared for my life. If I saw a kid like this show up at my door for Halloween, I'd probably <laughs> punch him in the face. Me Grimlock, not nice dino. Me best brains. I wouldn't punch this kid in the face because you can tell he's just doing his job as an actor. <laughs> and thankfully, it's hiding his face. He gets to keep his dignity. I, it, it reminds me how Venom has like his mouth like, like when he opens it up you see you see Eddie Brock's face underneath it. That is the funniest image I have seen ever. What's so funny? <laughs> is this how you prove to yourself that you're the biggest Grimlock fan? You got this at home, haven't you? It still fits, I bet. No, uh, <laughs> I, I, I burned it. <laughs> so. Where should we put him? I don't want to say, be mean and say that the kid is wrong and ugly. But yeah. That costume is all wrong and ugly. Okay, we're talking about the costume, guys, not the kid. Yeah. The kid's innocent in all of this. He's just a victim yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, bad parenting. Yeah. 
My boy hit my nose! Now let's talk about the Evergreen and Cyberverse design. Sort of Hasbro's definitive look for the character, sort of a blueprint. And I gotta say, I really do dig this. I love the detail and I really like those shoulders as well. You think you're tough? Well, you're not as tough as me, Grimlock! Personality wise, I just didn't care for the Bruce Banner and Hulk angle they went with. I think it was okay for Cyberverse, but ah, eh. What can I say? At times I am such a brute, I forget myself. Here, so the design itself, I think those little spikes he has on his thighs and on his chest, I think are a bit much. Uh, I think he has a bit too many of those like pointy yellow things. I don't know, there's a lot of things I'm conflicted about. It looks a little too busy. And I don't like uh, the face. I, I always prefer visor and mouth plate. I do agree with you, like, to an extent, I do think it is busy in some areas and they could have toned it down. <laughs> it had an okay deluxe class, but it also had one of the worst McDonald's toys I've seen. What's on his chest? Is that supposed to be the... The mouth? Yep. I don't know what's going on here. Hate going into stasis. I'm always groggy and slow after I wake up. Now you asked for excessive. <laughs> <laughs> Busy of a design. We have the XM Studios Grimlock statue. I guess this is what a lot of people would have wanted for Major Extinction. Something more like G1. I really like it. This is kind of what I was saying before. Is like you kind of can just take those high moon style designs and just put it in real life obviously you have to make some stuff like you know change some stuff up add more detail but i think it like those that type of aesthetic can just be in live action and it can work and that's how i see this and uh i think it works really well i think this is the definitive like now moving on to a design that i didn't know existed we have the samurai grimlock by iron factory and I gotta admit, I really do like this. I love the swords. It's it's really badass. Yeah, I, I definitely think as a uh, different style of uh, a Grimlock, it, it's a really neat design. Feel like home to me, Grimlock, but don't know why. And now for our last Grimlock, we have a recent Transformers series, Earthspark. And it's like they just toned down that Cyberverse Evergreen design and just simplified it. And I think you'll like this, they gave him the mouth plate. Yeah, it's really good. I actually really like this stylization of it. Obviously, being voiced by Keith David is a huge plus. Watch me first. Everything you need is already inside your spark. Just harness it. And... Whoa. The take on this is a little better than the Cyberverse one, where he has like the eyes flashing red when he's angry and blue when he's not. Kind of wish he was a little bit more like assholeish at times, right? Or like more like more Shadow the Hedgehoggy. But I I do like I do like a lot of aspects of this Grimlock. I guess the only thing I don't like about it is so much of a T-Rex mode. I don't know. There's just something off about it with me. The robot mode I really like, and I might very well pick up the Deluxe class. It's basically a retool of that Cyberverse Deluxe Grimlock, but the plastic and paint is better. Uh, I think he's a pretty high like. I think I would put him, you know, closer to the top, yeah. Enjoy your rest, old friend. And there we have it guys, every Grimlock design ranked from worst to best. Now tell me which Grimlock is your personal favourite? The IDW one or the Fall Cybertron one, it just depends on the day, but those are the two that I love. For me, it's gotta be that Fall of Cybertron design. But I mean, we've got a lot of good Grimlock designs, we just love it. Shout it out loud! <laughs> me Grimlock not kisser, me Grimlock king! You can now rank every Grimlock design we've covered in this video on Tier List Maker. A link to that website will be in the description box below. You can become a channel member now and get early access to all these videos, or you can support it on Patreon where you'll also get early access. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and click on that notification bell to get all updates instantly. Come on you big bozo, get in the shuttle!
Well, Red Russell, it was good to have you on another tier list. I hope you had fun ranking all these Grimlock designs. You finally got the opportunity to rank every Grimlock design. He's one of the mainstays, so he's got a lot of designs. And there we have it, guys. I've been Common and Cam. And I'm Road Russell. And until next time, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Bye, Grimlock. Bye, guys. I'd write, but uh, you can't read.